What is up? I'm Marcel and welcome back to The Modern Filmmaker. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna go over my favorite techniques for cleaning up audio in Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve 17. So audio is tough, especially audio for video. I mean, you're in a lot of different situations where you never really know what kind of situation or what kind of conditions you're gonna have to capture audio in. And a few things we all have to deal with at some point is a terrible room with either bad acoustics and you have the vocal echo just bouncing all over the place, or you have room noise like air conditioners or traffic from outside, or maybe you are outside and the traffic's right next to you. But there's a few built-in tools within Fairlight and DaVinci Resolve that if you know how to use them will really help you transform your audio. So let's jump on in and get started. So I've got the project pulled up with just the raw audio, as if I hadn't done anything yet, but just lay the voiceover clips down to the actual video clips. Um, there's no EQing or any enhancements done so far. And I just wanted to take a listen so you guys could hear where we're starting from. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. Okay, so the first thing you're probably going to notice is that it's pretty quiet. And the first thing I always do is normalize the audio because typically I try to get a pretty low audio signal going in when there's room noise in the room or when there's room with echo uh, because the louder the signal is, the more you're going to get more of that background echo. And sometimes it can kind of distort and overload uh, the audio signal that you're trying to get. And if I just go ahead and grab all the voiceover audio clips, I can right click and hit normalize audio levels, which this will normalize the audio levels to a, a more reasonable uh, decibel level. Right now they're super low, but this will get it to a standard and that standard would be what we need to set. And so if I come down here to the ITUR, and it says LKFS, um, the typical standard used to be uh, minus 23. Now for things like YouTube, the standard is minus 14 or around minus 14. So if we just start there and click normalize, you'll see it brings our audio levels up. And now we can really hear how bad the audio actually is if we take another listen. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pop. I'm hearing a little bit of hiss from the wireless microphone we had on her. I'm hearing a lot of room tone. It's not absolutely terrible. I've definitely heard worse, but uh, that's where we'll need to start. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the Fairlight page. And from there, where we'll start is with the EQ. An EQ in itself can do a ton. Probably things that you'd never really even imagine. Because what you're hearing when you hear an echo is obviously the voice bouncing off a wall or a surface and reverberating back. And that's what causes the echo. Now, the thing about that echo or room noise in general is even the echo of someone's voice is slightly off frequency from the actual voice. So you can pinpoint those frequencies and pull them down to eliminate either the echo or even room tone would be much easier to do this with because of course room tone is going to seem even further uh, out of the spectrum of frequency that the voice would be. So in Fairlight, I've got all my vocal audio under track two, audio two labeled here. And so if I go to A2 in the mixture, you'll see a few things we'll be using today, which is the effects, the EQ, and the dynamics. Now, this thing that says order right above the effects, this tells Resolve what order you want it to go in when it comes to the effects, the EQ, and the dynamics. And I like to start with the EQ. Normally, this is set to FX, EQ, then dynamics, but I like to start with EQ. It's a great place to start, and something that probably makes the biggest difference is identifying the bad frequencies that you don't want and minimizing them. So let's start with the EQ, effects, and then dynamics. And then we'll go to the EQ down here and open this EQ. The band five right now is set to be a shelf. So if we move this up or down, it'll pretty much eliminate high frequencies and ra or raise high frequencies. Uh, so we're gonna leave that there and move on to band four, which is set for a bell. And a bell is just a section of frequencies that you can grab and move up or move down. And the first thing we'll do is go down to the Q factor, which determines the width of your bell. And so if we move this up, because I just want to, I really want to pinpoint a specific uh, frequencies here and don't want to grab a bunch at once. Because if you grab a bunch at once, then you raise the possibility of cutting into the actual voice frequency. Uh, so we want to identify the frequencies we don't want and try to get just those to as much as we can. So now that we've moved the uh, Q factor up to 8.4, if I move the gain up, you'll see that this is a very small, much smaller space at least than it used to be. Uh, when I had it closer to that 2.4. Uh, 
Bring this back up towards A, maybe even 10 region. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll play the actual audio and then I'll actually slide this over the frequencies until I start to hear some distortion. For this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really matters. So one thing I'm listening for is a frequency that I still hear when she quits talking. So even though she's done talking, if I still hear this weird frequency that I brought up, then I know that's not just in her voice, it's in the entire room or something that's in the room. So let's listen to this again. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. That sounds about right, right there. That sounds like a very, very odd uh, kind of piercing tone of the vocal. That even if it is a part of the vocal itself, I can cut that down because it's a more piercing part of the vocal anyway. So let's run this back and then I'll start pulling this gain down and you'll hear the difference. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. That made a pretty big difference already. If I go play that back and turn this on and off, for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry. It sounds a little tighter, but let's find some more frequencies and keep moving on. So if I grab the band three and I move the Q factor up, just like we did with the last one, and then I play this and raise it up and kind of run through these frequencies. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. Hear that? Hear that? Now that, that is a weird frequency. We really wanted to focus. We'll come back to that. That is 268 on the frequency spectrum. Let's keep moving up. On the lines, we wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on mono. Hear that? Now this one is accentuating the echo in the room while also distorting her own voice. So we know that this is more than just her voice. We really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to. Okay, so let's bring this down as I play it back one more time. For this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. Awesome. That sounds way better. I know you guys hear the difference. Let me play that one more time. I'll turn it off and on. For this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. This makes it a little tighter. All right. So let's go down to the band two and I'm going to change this from a shelf, which it is right now. I'm going to change this to a bell and then we'll move this Q up, Q factor up. And then we'll, again, we'll search for another frequency because I'm hearing uh, it almost seems like I'm hearing uh, an air conditioning in the room as well. For this home, we really wanted to focus. It's a very steady hum. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. For this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic. And hear this frequency, it sounds like she's talking into a can or into a corner somewhere. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on mono. Let's go ahead and bring that one down as well. For this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on A. Okay, that sounds really good. Now I'm hearing a high frequency in there that I'm not fond of uh, as well. So I'm gonna come up here to band five. That was our high uh, shelf frequency. And I can come down and make this a bell as well. And I'll turn up our Q factor. And let me scrub through this and listen for frequencies. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful. Okay, so 10, 50, uh, 10 K5, 
may be it, but let me keep searching. For this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really- Now that definitely sounds plainer. Let's turn this off and on the EQ as we play this back real fast. For this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. That sounds nice. It definitely sounds much better to me. Now, there are some effects within Resolve that'll help as well. Uh, but one more thing I might do in the EQ is turn on the six band, which is what they call a pass. And this will actually cut uh, the high frequencies completely. And let me play this back real fast. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also- And that was the fuzz from the wireless mic that uh, I was just hearing. Now, if we come to the effects and we come down to noise reduction, we have fair light effects and then you come down to noise reduction. And, and now if you have a space in the audio where your talent is not speaking uh, and you just have that room tone, like I do right there, you can actually click learn and then play through that section. And now it's identified just that section. And if I come back and play this. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on mono. Oh yeah, you can definitely hear a difference in like just that, that constant hiss in the background. Um, now, mind you, when you have to cut frequencies, when you have to enhance audio, especially if you have to cut frequencies because there's extra stuff there you don't want, you're gonna end up getting a not as powerful audio. And, and that's where it kind of comes in where you mix it with music and you make it, you massage it in place a little better. Uh, so don't expect that, you know, oh, I've got this crazy room tone or I've got this crazy, I've got trucks going around the background or, or air conditioning going around the background and I've got to turn this into a perfect audio. It's probably not going to happen, but you can clean it up to be less distracting. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And so if I play this back one more time and I turn this on and off, you can clearly hear that it's cutting out this constant hiss that's going on. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. Love that. Now that sounds pretty good. Uh, one more thing I'm gonna do is go down to dynamics. And here we can actually run a gate that will actually cut things off in between speaking. Uh, so if I turn this on here and instead of expander, I click on gate. Now I can set the threshold in decibel levels of where I want it to start cutting off. So if we play this in the beginning, now we're not hearing that sound at the beginning at all. Now that air conditioner sound or whatever's going on, uh, when the vocal isn't happening, it's cutting it off. And pretty much what's going on right now, I've got this set right now to minus 35 dB. So if anything happens under minus 35 dB, the gate will just cut it completely. And anything that comes above 35 dB, it'll let that happen. But anything that happens under will just get cut. So that can really be a strong tool in a lot of different situations. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. Now you might need to massage the threshold depending on how loud or quiet your audio is. You could hear that it was kind of cutting off uh, a little bit of enunciation, some of these words here. Modern design for our bachelor client. So I can bring this down to like 40, or I can at least cut in the front, and I can bring this down until I start hearing it again in the front. So I know I got a clean sample in the front. So for this home, we. So I can go to minus 40. So for this Boom. home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. 
and that sounds a ton better. If I turn off the noise reduction, the EQ, and the gate, this is what we were working with. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. There was a hiss, there was the air conditioning, uh, there was the room echo. Uh, there was a lot going on. Now, if I turn back on the gate, the EQ and noise reduction. So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. Boom. <laughs> So for this home, we really wanted to focus on the lines. We wanted to focus on asymmetry and we wanted to focus on texture. We also focused on monochromatic color schemes and tried to pull in pops of color where it really mattered. We've mixed it up to just pull together this beautiful, fresh, modern design for our bachelor client. And that right there, that's how you clean up audio. Now, there's plenty of other things I do from there as far as external plugins to enhance audio and to make it sound more full and stuff like that. Leave a comment below if you want me to get in to more in-depth audio stuff. Now, if you liked this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you didn't, think about clicking the like button anyway. It would really help me out. And of course, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'm Marcel, and this has been a Modern Filmmaker. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.